Hello there Bricksters. I had a email come in to me via my YouTube channel as to how to motorize the Lego Toy Story train to run it under a Christmas tree. Since I already had mine running under the Christmas tree I thought I'd do a quick video and explain how I did this. Showing the 9 volt train controller uh, hooked up to the rail and its uh, contacts as such. Okay, so what I did was I took this car here, which is basically the same as this car here, if for the wheels or trucks wise, the base just comes off it like so. So you have the, the bottom base like that, and then I drilled a hole in the center here because of this reason. On the motor, on the top there's a peg, and the peg has to go up and sit in it. You can build up the motor, I suppose so it would sit sit below it and it would sit higher but this fits up into the little pole and it sits up into that like that and that's our 9 volt motor and that's how I uh, motorized the Toy Story train for 9 volt just basically it was the train 9 volt train motor and I just stuck it on the bottom there and that became our motor rather than actually putting it, it in the uh, engine itself so talking about the engine itself um, we had to um, convert the front wheels to modify them a little bit um, basically because there's a blue pin that comes up through the bottom here in the front trucks right there and it was uh, sitting up in the boiler up here one point two up in the front in the black um, it was really too tight so we had to make it looser so what I had to do was build the bottom out here with a little plate um, and I call the bang plate so it just sits up above and I had to put a uh, cross beam here and uh, put some other reinforcing bricks underneath there the yellow you can see it there being long beam here you can use a technical a technique beam with the holes in it I just use one normal one and drill the hole in the bottom of it here um, for the pin um, because the pin has to be relatively loose to turn um, like so right it has to pivot when it's sitting up in this type of hole here which is also on the bottom which as it comes in the kit um, it doesn't pivot too uh, well because it's it's sitting up in and it's tight so we have to make it freely um, freely pivot in order to make the, the turn in the track that was the problem we were having it was uh, coming off the track so um, that's how I I did that and now it turns on the radius of the track quite nicely uh, with no problems and we just hook that back up to our 9 volt motor now I'm not sure if the power functions kit motor um, works much the same or not as this 9 volt motor I have not had one to try so I don't know um, However, in the new city uh, train set, this is a new city train uh, kit number 7938. It has all the power functions, uh, motors, and accessories that you'll need to uh, get a train going. The new city train set um, does have the power functions, and I believe the motor may be similar to this, but it's not 9 volt, it's power functions. This picture shows the power functions motor which replaces the older 9 volt motor. Then what what would happen it should work um, because it runs off a 9 volt battery pack which would fit inside of this car. Um, it would just sit down inside there. The wire would come out of the battery pack and attach to the motor and it would work by remote control. Um, that's another way of powering the uh, Toy Story train uh, that I was talking about for the uh, putting it in your Toy Story train. It's just that the Power Functions battery pack fits six tr uh, double A battery, six double A batteries, so that will fit in one of those cars, no problems. And uh, I just have it in the uh, tender of the Emerald Knight, and uh, which is much smaller 
in one of the Toy Story cars, so it will work. Besides the power functions, battery box, and motor, you will also need the infrared receiver, which is shown in this picture. And then coming up in the next picture, we have the transmitter that's infrared, uh, which you will need. This is a four channel transmitter, uh, so you can operate four trains. These are available in the city train as well. This is also the remote control unit for the power functions, and you can control up to four trains. So these sell for about uh, $17.99 Canadian. So the engine here that we have, the Toy Story 3 set, has one little difficulty. And um, we're going to fix that with a little bit of hot glue. And uh, what the difficulty is, it's on this front part right here. This part right here is only held on by two little studs and it keeps wobbling off every time. So we're going to fix that. We're going to fix this front end so it just doesn't fall apart, especially when we're using it on the 9-volt track system and having it as a run as a train. So we're going to go ahead, glue this down. It's only on by a little pin here. As you can see, it's not, it's not very well stuck on. It's just two little pins there holds it on. So we're glue that down. We're going to glue that down there and uh, so if you have any bit. questions, please feel free to email them in to me or message me on my channel on YouTube. It's FSN Videos. And uh, I'll, get, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I am very busy, but I'll try to get them done as quick as I can. And um, whether it's a video or an answer, I thought this one was best answered with a video.